So you mentioned Data Lemur there, your platform. So you have this SQL interview platform called Data Lemur. I've used it. It is super cool. So you can log in for free. And in fact, today, 100% of the functionality, correct me if I'm wrong, 100% of the functionality in the platform is free. So yep. you can create a free login. Uh, at the time of recording, the platform has only been live for two weeks, but you've had tremendous engagement already, thousands of users. Um, and I can see why, because it is a super intuitive platform. So you can come in and you can select from different kinds of SQL problems. They're ranked as easy, medium, or hard. A lot of them are related to uh, chapters of your Ace the Data Science interview book. Um, and they're specific to uh, questions at specific companies. So yep. big tech companies or really cool startups like Robinhood. And uh, so it has real data in the back end, real data tables. And then you write your SQL queries to extract data from those tables. And there's a, um, there's a, a code executing terminal. And yeah. in that terminal, you can write real SQL code and then you get the output of the results. And so there are platforms that do that kind of thing. There are other educational platforms that do that kind of thing. But this is the first that I'm aware of that is doing it specifically for SQL interview questions. Yeah. And it runs, like for a platform that is so new, you've done an excellent job, Nick, of having it work intuitively and efficiently. It's a joy to use. And then one of the other features that I love about it is that if you don't want to skip, you know, let's say you're struggling to figure out how to solve the problem, but you don't want to jump right to the answer because then you're kind of, then you've kind of spoiled the opportunity to learn to some yep. extent. Um, you've offered several tiers of hints. So it sounds like on many questions, you have up to four tiers of hints that you can ask for. Yeah. Every question has at least one hint and most have three, maybe four hints. And it's because there are other SQL interview platforms like LeetCode and HackerRank, and they're pretty good, but in my opinion, a little clunky to use. And secondly, they're kind of competitive. There's this element of like getting points and a leaderboard, and that's great. But for learning, I want to give people easy access to solutions. I want to give them easy access to hints, and I want to make it all free. Um, so that's basically the kind of the ethos of Data Lemur, and it has 60 today, 60 FANG SQL interview questions that you can go practice. Uh, yeah, so FANG, uh, well, that was, there. <laughs> yeah, it was the buzzword uh, certainly a few years ago to describe the prominent big tech companies. So Facebook, uh, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, Google. Were the companies at that yeah. time. I think the, the best, it doesn't sound as good, but I think the most current acronym is like MAMA. So I've heard MANGA. Manga, um, but it, you know it's a free for all. So until well, that, someone really because that that manga was that what is that N Netflix? Uh yeah. So with Mama, it's M A A M A. You've got Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, uh, Meta, and then Alphabet, Google's parent company. Yeah. And I think those are the big five tech companies today, really. Uh, but it isn't. It hasn't caught on. And that's like Fang was like, that was the first big one that where people started doing this grouping all the big tech companies into one acronym and it worked really well. And so it still makes sense that people say that today, even though when you say Fang today, you probably aren't talking about Netflix. <laughs> yeah. and, and we keep leaving out, out Microsoft, which is wrong. Right, right, right. It's crazy that the Fang doesn't have that. Yeah, yeah, they're huge. They're, yeah, they're sometimes the biggest company in the world in the last few years. Yeah. And they also, for data science, super cutting edge. Uh, in the preceding episode of this program, we had uh, Dr. Emre uh, Kichiman, who is, who's been working at Microsoft Research for 17 years. And Microsoft Research is tremendous. No. I mean, I, I, I talk about it in that show, and I, I haven't looked up since uh, to make sure that this is correct. But I, I believe that Microsoft publishes more papers than any other uh, tech company, which means probably more than any other uh, commercial organization. I, I can I can believe that, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we shouldn't be leaving Microsoft out. Um, anyway, how did we get on to this? <laughs> 50, sorry, 60 oh, yeah. SQL interview, interview questions. On, you know, questions. Yeah. That's right, in the platform. And yeah, so 
Uh, I love that. And then there's also, you have a vibrant discussion section. So for any one of those 60 questions at the time of recording, you can go and see a discussion where, you know, I'm looking at one of the questions now. There's hundreds. There, should, of there, there might be hundreds of people discussing their solution, getting help, criticizing. Well, maybe criticizing is too heavy a word. Critiquing other people's style. Right. And that's a phenomenal way to learn because it's like a free code review. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So super cool, Nick. I am deeply impressed by Data Lemur. And again, it is free. We'll, of course, have a link to it in the show notes. Um, so how did it occur to you to yeah. be, you know, so you, so you set off to, you, know, you set off on your own, you write this best-selling book, Ace the Data Science Interview. How did it then occur to you that the next step was to create this free platform, Data Lemur? Absolutely. So one of the biggest feedbacks we got was, was, hey, your SQL questions are awesome from the book, but I want to run the, this code. And you've just given me the table structure, but not any real values to work with. And I don't want to mess around with my own local workbench or DB fiddle or this or that. Can you load up these questions in a platform so I can actually uh, run my own query? Yeah. So it was pretty logical because already so many people had used liked the book and that was like the one big repeated pain point of the book that they said the sequel was good but they wanted to run it so we did it 